hands of uh, Bob Brown, our announcer, who is uh, taking on the uh, Remembrance Tribute. And you'll hear these dulcet tones over the uh, microphones as uh, we prepare to think about all those that fell in those world wars and lost their lives for our freedom and safety. The referee is blowing his whistle. the ultimate sacrifice in the service of their country. Private Percy Bex, Private Alfred Cosford, Private Frank Houghton, Lance Corporal Oliver Bedette, Private Thomas Baker, Private Oscar Elderton. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. And there we go, impeccably observed by everybody here at Latimer Park. And uh, well done, Bob Brown, for his uh, poetry over the, uh, over the tribute there. So it's back now down to business. And, uh, it is Blythe to kick off there, going on one knee. Being applauded by the fans and uh, off, off the knee. Right then, we're ready to go. The action stations, it's Ketrin Town, the Poppies against Blythe Spartans, and we are off. Ball is played at this side, interrupted by Sharp for Ketrin. Headed back, Sharp again gets the ball. It's a uh, miscontrol there by O'Donnell. He bowls the ball out to O'Neill on the far side. O'Neill with a bit of space to run at uh, Blythe. He said gives it to Neil. He plays the ball back to Johnson. Johnson, the midway, he pumps it forward towards McDonough, but it's intercepted by Buddle. Only towards Neil. He finds McDonough from that ball. McDonough flicks it through to uh, Barrett. The chance here for Powell. If he shoots, he does. He shoots. Cleared. And it goes away. It was a good clearance at the beaten. The goalkeeper. Mm, it's going to be a throw into Ketron. It's going to be Reese Sharp to take it. Ketron have two long throwing specialists and one on the bench Sharp uh, puts the ball in it's a good ball there's a flicked header by Johnson and that goes out harmlessly for a goal kick and Davis has the uh, the ball about uh, eight yards outside the penalty area on the, the far side everybody's grouped over in front of the uh, dugout so he delivers a low trajectory ball towards uh, Connor Kennedy flicks it on towards Powell if Powell can get there he can and a score great goal from Powell He's back on the score in front, flicked on by Kennedy, and Powell slips the ball in between the defenders and the goalkeeper. 1-0! Lovely, lovely, simple goal there for the Poppies. It was a good uh, flicked header on by uh, Kennedy and Callum Powell, cool as you like, very collected. Just steered it past Alex Mitchell in the Blythe goal, and Poppies have an early lead. Rather odd. Sharp then... Uh, on this left-hand side, puts it into the near post, flicked on by Chris Smith, and uh, that goes, uh, well, according to the referee, it's a corner. I think Chris Smith uh, got a little bit on that. A bit of argy-bargy. In comes the corner, better corner, comes in here, back post, and it's headed uh, and cleared away by Blythe. It's a good clearance, doesn't reach... Uh, Lewis McNall, it's pumped back in, headed on by Connor Johnson. There's Neil McDonnell... Uh, is uh, fouled and um, the referee has given Ketron a free kick. I think he has. Well, he's a, must be a mathematician. He's got a he's got an abacus out there. He's got his hand up. Little touch there. Here comes Kennedy. Takes a touch. Tries a shot. It comes off a Blythe player. Sharp heads it back and Blythe clear it. Sharp's back in. Smith underneath it. Head tennis here and cleared eventually by Blythe. Clearance and uh, Davis. Dribbles the ball around a bit, weighing up his options. 
He's got O'Neill one way, and he uses O'Neill, bowls it out on the far side. O'Neill plays a long ball towards McDonough. McDonough being wrestled against here. McDonough coming through, brought down, oh, and the referee says no to a penalty. And it goes into the Blythe half, pumps the ball forward. Easily dispatched though by Blythe and cleared once again, but only to Connor Johnson who takes a touch. O'Donnell chasing him. It's back to goalkeeper Davis who traps the ball and almost uh, concedes the goal. He played it right at O'Donnell's feet. Uh, had there been any luck in it whatsoever for Blythe, that would have been the equaliser. It would have spun off into the net. Very, very lucky there as Barrett. He doesn't take a long throw and he gets it to O'Neill. O'Neill very, very quickly puts the ball in. There's Kendall Kennedy. Kennedy's there, comes the top of his head. And he's offside anyway. It wouldn't have counted. But uh, another chance. Kennedy wins the head in tennis again. It's chested and put forward. Sliced by uh, Johnson. And uh, Blythe uh, doing well there. Johnson plays it square. On the far side to uh, Luke O'Neill, who has a bit of uh, time, decides to give Barrett the chance to run this, and uh, he does so. Barrett doing well, gets uh, behind his man, that should go for a corner, and does catch him getting a lot of corners. It's uh, going to be Sharp again then, who's going to take this uh, corner. A lot of movement in the penalty area, as you'd expect. It comes in, it's a better corner. Goalkeeper punches out, it, it's oh! on the line, and uh, there's a foul by McDonough on the line, I thought it was in, and somehow Reese Evans, who's gone down injured in the process, got the ball away as the goal seems certain. He's staying down, and uh, the cries of get up from the uh, observant Ketron fans are uh, very sympathetic, they are. Hickey is uh, waiting to receive, he finally gets the ball. Evans gets it back, back to Hickey, right footed, Hickey puts it in. He finds uh, Cunningham, who uh, Plays a poor ball into the penalty area. Straight to uh, Davis, who then uh, bowls the ball out. And uh, Barrett's run about 30, 40 yards so far. Puts the ball forward to Powell, who's in the penalty area. Takes a touch. Powell puts the ball in. It comes off the Blythe player. Here's Barrett. Barrett turns. Can't get the ball. It's back to Powell on the byline. It comes in. There's no captain player there. There is uh, Connor Kennedy. Heads it back and booted out by Evans. Never got the ball. Evans has it here in front. He beats uh, Sharp. He's got some space here, Evans. He has uh, uh, McNall in front of him, who he uses. McNall down by the byline, and that should be a, a corner to uh, Blythe. And the uh, referee has given uh, given a goal kick. Well, uh, I think that was a, a corner, definitely a corner. I think we've but, got a problem uh, with the referee as well. He's got an injury. And the ref is on one knee, could be injured. He was struggling, I noticed, in the centre of the field. He wasn't running cleanly at all, he, and uh, he's he's gone down on his haunches. Well, there we go, then. The uh, linesman now becomes the referee. I thought the ref was doing reasonably well, actually. And he was doing uh, very well, I think, uh, apart from the McDonough incident. Oh, yes, that was terrible. Yeah, Glad yeah, he's gone. Yeah, yeah, Glad yeah. he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> apart from that, I thought he'd refereed uh, very well. And, you know, the danger is we've had... We've had quite a lengthy break, and uh, that might be to Blythe's advantage. Wins that, and that will be a throw into Ketchum on this uh, near side. Powell thought about taking it quickly, changes his mind, and leaves it for Reese Sharp. And uh, still, if you just joined us, it's still 1 0 to the pop. Is that goal scored by Callum Powell early doors? He's got the ball back again from Sharp. Puts the ball in towards the back post there. There is Connor Kennedy being held down. There's a cry for a penalty at the back there, but nothing given and cleared by Blythe. And Sheriff gets in there, tries a long ranger. And uh, that just swoops away by the goalkeeper's far post. It's going to be Sharp once again, who's uh, been taking all of the catcher in set pieces. On the far side, at least. In it comes, left-footed. Good take here. Goalkeeper punches. Good punch there from uh, from Mitchell, but it only goes towards Powell on the other side. Powell got O'Donnell in front of him, puts it in right footed. The goalkeeper comes out and drops it and uh, gets it on the second touch right on the line towards McDonough. But there is Buddle. He only finds Powell, who's then is robbed by, uh, by Devadix. He still has the ball, squares it, and... Uh, Buddle puts it out wide, but Bly still under pressure. Ball is with McNall. He does well. And there's a foul on McNall by Connor Johnson. 
midway in the Ketrin half on the far side of the ground. So 1 0 at the moment. Of course, it only takes a yellow a, card. Like a yellow card as well for uh, Connor Johnson, which I think is rather harsh. But uh, all the same, he goes into the book. You have to say that if uh, the Blythe player was through, it would have been. Um, you know, a dangerous position as it is, it still is. Free kick halfway in the uh, poppy's half. All the three big centre halves have gone forward to uh, to Blythe. The chance, though, to put Catron's defence under pressure. They've had nothing to do all afternoon. And headed out by Connor Johnston. It goes back to the free kick taker who puts it in once again towards that back post. And uh, O'Donnell, it came off. And that will be goal kick. Whistle goes. A lot of movement, nothing happening so far, hasn't been taken, whistle went about a week ago, still nothing happening, could have, written, could have uh, written a book as Devedick um, puts the ball in, comes off the wall, Mitchell, Smith gets the ball, the header, on to Lamine Sheriff, Sheriff for the Poppies, plays a long ball over to McDonough on the far side, he does well. <coughs> Going forward, McDonough might try a shot. McDonough in, fires. Oh, a good effort. And that just goes inches over the bar. who's leaning back. It's on the edge of the penalty area. He leant back. He fired one in. And that was just probably three inches over the bar. There's been no cohesion from them, really, no. as, a, as, a, as a unit. They, they do look a little bit low on confidence. But whilst well, it's only 1-0... Exactly. Although once one shot on target, he goes in. And there goes the whistle for half-time. And uh, it's... Uh, a good half. Ketrin probably should have uh, scored a couple more in that first half. But uh, they go into the uh, half-time talk. 1-0 ahead here at Latimer Park. Goal scored by Callum Powell. His sixth league goal of the season. 6-9. Six, six, I guess 6-50. I said 6-6-3. Six, 6-6-3, six, three six, the, six, uh, three, yeah, said Gary. Sorry. So uh, down by 400 from the last uh, home game as uh, Johnson gets the ball to Kennedy. Kennedy puts it in towards that back post. There's uh, McDonough and Chris Smith. It's still in play. And it goes for a corner right on the edge there. First but to Ketrin. Neil puts it in there towards that back post. It's headed out by a Ketrin player when really it should have been on target. It goes right out though to Lamine Sheriff who... Uh, has to play the ball back to Neil, who hooks the ball back in. There's Connor Johnson, and uh, it goes out for the second corner. <laughs> the 78, I think it was, before Trevor Slack put one in. But it comes in the back post now, punched out again by Mitchell. Goes towards uh, Callum Powell, who does well. Plays it out wide to McDonough, who's, as I say, gone out wide. He comes, might try right foot. There's a player down, the referee. Poor decision there from the referee. And um, looks like an edge injury, a head injury, but he let play go on too long. He's down in the D, but uh, at least the uh, at least Hickey is okay, and nothing serious. Uh, hopefully from uh, that uh, innocuous challenge, really. So referee has the ball in his hands. Going to be a, a drop ball, and. Powell gets it to Harrison Nil, puts it in there. Connor Kennedy fires one in. Oh, what a beautiful goal from Connor Kennedy on the volley, giving them no chance whatsoever. 2 0. Well, 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 what a fantastic finish that was with Connor Kennedy. I said it was good to see him in a more advanced position. He was making a real nuisance of himself and being creative in the first half. But uh, second half, he's just notched it up another level. It was a wonderful volley right in the corner. No chance for Mitchell. And that is the second Poppy's goal that we've been looking for. It is. Well, Connor Thompson's come in. He's about as tall as, uh, as our uh, Jerry McDonough. So, uh, number eight, number 19, Connor Thompson. Excuses of not being pl yeah. having playing time. They certainly looked a yard slower against Darlington um, last week. OK, it might not be as pulsating as last week, but certainly Ketrin look, you know, more alert and aware of what's going on. And uh, the game against Diamonds uh, would have helped the fitness levels as Barrett wins the ball there. He does well. Barrett going forward. He's got Powell on his uh, right-hand side. He puts the ball in towards McDonough. McDonough, and it's still in play. And that should be a goal kick. Ketrin fans think it's a corner, but a good interception by Barrett. Being left now to uh, O'Neill. Spins the ball, basketball style, in his hands. Tries to find Barrett. He does Barrett, and it's a corner. And uh, 
I don't know what the Blythe player's doing. It certainly came off him. He hadn't got a lot else on than to let Powell in. Before then, though, the corner taken by Sharp. It comes in towards that back post there. It's a goal! <laughs> Connor Kennedy again with a back header. Loops over everybody. I thought it was going over, but it loops over the goalkeeper, Alex Mitchell. 3-0. Yeah, and that uh, surely is uh, game over as far as uh, Blythe concerned. It was a it was a looping header. It almost you almost thought it was uh, sort of semi deflected, but uh, it nestled into that far corner. And uh, Mitchell looks bewildered in goal. And you say Blythe Spartans, you say Dale, don't you? Really, he's been there for an eternity. Comes in, headed on, and uh, it's back with the second substitution, who's. Uh, Whammed it to the side. It's offside. So uh, Corey McCowan uh, showing his worth. Have their highest uh, win of the season if it continues uh, in this manner. Davis then gets us back underway. Goes right to Callum Powell. Who's there? Callum Powell from the goal kick. He's uh, got it inside uh, Ben Milburn. Still Powell plays the ball to McDonough. Fires in. Goal! Beautiful goal, McDonough. Makes it four, an absolute stunner. Lovely work from the goalkeeper. Down to Powell, Powell into the area, feeds McDonough, and he powers it past Mitchell. 4 0. That game, uh, or half a game against uh, the Diamonds, and has looked quite sharp this afternoon. 4 0 as uh, again Powell robs them away. He's away, he's got McDonough with him. Still Powell, it's five round Powell. Powell goes down, he's brought down. Cynical foul there by uh, Nathan Buddle. He should go into the book. And he does. They're edging, look at well, him edging forward. Powell we have, is... Um, we don't have the magic spray at our level. We don't, no. We're about time we did. As Powell lines up, might try one here. He does, and uh, three points. Three points. Conversion. A conversion there for uh, Powell. So he's got uh, a goal and three points. Yeah, Paul Cox said you don't become a bad team overnight. You know, in, you know, fate conspired against Ketrin, losing an FA Cup match, 13 days without a game, playing a... a Poor game as the ball comes in again. They're Kennedy again. Going to get oh, if you if, if you got any touch on that, you'd have scored a hat trick. Went straight into the arms of the goalkeeper at point blank range. Now, by the uh, get away with um, Thompson, he's beat uh, the tackle. He's going through here, but he's too wide, and he's uh, knocked that ball out. And it must be a goal here. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant stop there from Harrison Neil. Point. Connor Johnson plays it to. Uh, O'Neill and O'Neill puts Johnson under pressure and Johnson's given the ball away now the chance here for Blythe it could be uh, offside and uh, a great save from Davis anyway Davis didn't know that the flag was up but uh, Connor Johnson and uh, and uh, O'Neill conspired between them to uh, almost gift Blythe a goal and uh, that's the only way they're going to get one I think um, good save wasn't it from distance and uh, he's not had a lot to do as Reese Davis he's made a couple of errors himself but that uh, is a positive uh, save from the young goalkeeper. It's like Ketchum are going to make a substitution. The board is there as uh, Barrett wins the header, trying to get it to Powell. It doesn't reach him. Barrett should get there again. He does. Put it through towards Powell. Powell in the penalty area. He's got two round him. Abbott, though, he beats them easily here. Gets the ball in. A shot. Brilliant save and headed off. Oh, how unfortunate was that? Powell fired the shot in. Good save from Alex Mitchell, who palmed the ball straight onto Connor Kennedy's head, and it came off Kennedy's head and looped over the bar. He knew nothing about it, but uh, that could have been five. Powell, who opened the scoring on uh, six minutes, getting a warm reception from the Poppies fans, and in so he's uh, his. Uh, So, Jordan so McDonough is going to leave the field as well. He opened his account this afternoon with a, a great goal. And uh, big man uh, showing what he can do. And again, has the long walk around the, uh, the pitch. Free kick then by Mitchell. Living Sheriff underneath it wins the header, gets it to uh, Crawford's first touch, gives the ball away. He's back in to Johnson, puts the ball through, offside flag not given. JJ McDonald comes in here, and a great save there from Rhys Davis, goes for a corner. Excellent shot from JJ O'Donnell. Sharp finds Neil. Neil in the centre of the park. Going to play it out wide here for Barrett. Barrett might keep this in if he can. It'll be a good position for the poppers. He can, right by the corner flag. Nobody with him. Barrett. Got two round him. It comes in here. Harrison Neil by the byline puts the ball over. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. 
Bit of trickery there by Neil. Oh, and again. Push the ball over. Oh, my word. Connor Crawford couldn't have the easier chance to tap that in from six yards. Barrett, he's got acres of space to run, and he is doing so. He's uh, being chased. He's still going strong. Barrett, Barrett, he's got the ball. He's still going. Yard is interrupted there by Cunningham. And uh, Barrett uh, does well. And then he fouls Cunningham. And then there's, oh, argy bargy here, and bit of sh oh, and uh, Cunningham needs to go through a punch, and uh, well, that is absolutely stupid. With the face, uh, it wasn't a lot of power, it was more like a flick at his face, but it should be a red card by the should letter of the law. Should be a red card all the way, and uh, it is, and rightly so. That about sums up Blythe's day, really, and... Uh, Looks forlorn as he goes off. Down to ten men. Cunningham gone. Defensive duties, but uh, certainly been a threat coming forward. Goal kick uh, taken. Blythe will they get a consolation goal as uh, he might get a chance here. Comes in, good save. Follow up. Ah, oh, open goal missed. Well, what else can go wrong for uh, for Blythe? And I, I suppose the only thing they can do now is get a penalty and miss it. <laughs> I, don't think, um, I don't think they'll have time. For no. That. I think the referee's and going there to it goes all over convincing win for the Poppies 4-0 against uh, Bly Spartans who've not had a happy day <laughs>